I'm Big is an online talk show sharing what's working in a big way. It is about redefining what it means to be big. Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to a very special episode of I Am Big today. I am sitting here in my favorite tea place in my neighborhood Lakeview in Chicago. It's called Loose Leaf Tea Lounge, and I love this place. And while I'm sipping this fantastic, healthy, mm, Ah, fresh green tea, sending a lot of health and positivity through the camera right here. Just just reflecting about this year, it's been phenomenal. And I also think about some of our big guests and where, what they're up to. So we, I had a call with Mark the other day and Mark was somebody we, one of our awesome guests we featured back in January. And he shared with us his journey to health and fitness. Take a look. Yes. You have lost almost 180 pounds from your heaviest. 180, everybody. 180 pounds has been lost by you in this lifetime from the heaviest you've ever been. Wow. So you were 340-ish at your heaviest. At my heaviest, yes. And today you are about 160-ish. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I'm now part, not only your friend, but part of your whole family. It's so okay. I live within, you know, live with your brother you know, taking care of your nephews. Who he I takes care of my beautiful nephews, Louis and Luke. I love and he is the, the whole house. I think you're the right. Manny of Scarsdale, I am the Manny. Scarsdale, New York. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I when I came there, I mean, I had lost weight before, and up, you know, so three forty. I wasn't three forty then. I was something like two sixty. You know, from all the, the years of like yo-yo dieting. So, but when I got there, um, it was more of a physical job than I than I'd ever done. First of all, I thought the first week uh, I was I was just not going to be able to make it. You know, running up and down the stairs, and you know, having to corral the kids. At the time, the smallest one was in diapers, and I don't know. The weight just started kind of coming off. It's I mean, it really you didn't wasn't think too much about. No, it. I didn't, yeah. um, because I, you know, I really kind of had given up on on things like that. Things like or, or I mean, things like that, like losing weight. You know, I mean, I've struggled with food all my life, so. I was like, you know, I've got some momentum going here. So let's mm -hmm. see what we can mm -hmm. do. And your sister-in-law, you know, what the whole right household there. eats, you know, very healthy. Mm -hmm. And I incorporated that. I started incorporating that. So, and I thought, well, let's try, you know, everybody, you know, is jogging. There's gyms there. You know, join a gym and see what you can do. You know, you always wanted to kind of... And just the, the change in um, how I was starting to, to uh, look at myself. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the positive reinforcement. I mean, it's always good when somebody tells you how how great you're looking, you start getting more attention. Mm -hmm. but, so, but I will say it wasn't quick. I mean, it took me probably three years. People were kind of alarmed because it was coming off pretty quick. Um, so, But it took about three years. And as you can see, that is a huge achievement for somebody and obviously huge and big. And the good news is he's still healthy, still maintaining his healthy weight and has added yoga to his routine to just give him that extra little kick, to give him that extra little something new to do. So congratulations, Mark, and everybody watching who's thinking about resolutions of health in this new year. Mark absolutely is a great inspiration for all of us. No human being deserves to be told that they are small, because that ain't the truth. After being told that I was too fat to do anything and I will not make it, I made it, and I made it big both professionally and personally. Now it's time to do something bigger and I'm gonna do it with you. I know I am big and so are you. I am big is an online talk show sharing what's working in a big way. It is about redefining what it means to be big, to dream big, to act big, to grow big and to share big because big goes way beyond size. Big is who we are and how we live. We are traveling around Chicagoland and beyond to bring you stories of everyday people doing big things. Join our movement today on IamBig.com and share with us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Sending you a hug from Chicago. I'm also super excited to give you all an update about Elisa, our first I Am Big guest we featured last November and any of you who remember watching her remembers that she's unstoppable. She came on the show and shared with us how she climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. Take a look. It's, it's taking it into palatable pieces that you can digest and go forward. If you look at Mount Kilimanjaro for 20,000 feet, it's intimidating. 
But if you look at it that every day you're going to do 3,000 feet, that's beautiful. That's, that's achievable. That's that is. That's it. First of all, thank you so much, Elisa. We will thank be you for following, having me. We will be following you and your successes and your challenges, and we will be reporting back to everyone on the beautiful things Unstoppable Elisa is doing. <laughs> thank you. Some I know of, some I wouldn't. Thank you so much. Thank you for and having me. And we love you here at Iron Big. Thank you. And as you can see, we had promised that we're going to keep up with her and talk about all the unstoppable things she's doing with you and share with you and follow her while well, we have been. And she's been doing great things as always. She sent us a note, which I want to read to you. Life is all about perspective. We all have difficult days, but as I reflect on my life, I can't help but be grateful for so many things. It is this perspective that continues to, me, continues to be the catalyst that fuels my desire to give back. And yes, she is giving back. She just, in October this year, did a walk to end Alzheimer's. And coming January next year, she's getting ready to go to Honduras. And I want to get this right. Getting ready to go support the All God's Children Orphanage to give back and support to those who are in need. Go, Lisa, and everyone. Till next time, and I'm going to be giving another really, really big update. Stay tuned at IamBig.com. And also, if you're in Chicago Lake, you do try the lovely loose leaf lounge. The tea and the stuff is excellent. Stay healthy.